We are Tex and Taylor Goats with TNT Livestock, and we're a cow-calf operator outside of Heinz, Oregon. I was blown away. I was a little bit overwhelmed, but I'm extremely excited, and, and I learned way beyond what I could have expected. Yeah, yeah me too. I, I, after working for so many places and being around so many people that, that have been to the school and we've been learning from them, I seriously thought we finally have the choice or the chance to come, and there'd be one or two things that, that I'd pick up on. And you know, I've got I've got over sixty things here on the pink and green sheets. <laughs> and it's one or two things. <laughs> wow. I always kinda of figured that I was on that paradigm set that my calf herd needed to be, you know, really extremely tight and uniformity amongst the way that they look and their size and that you calve in the spring and you sell in the fall and you cull and you preg and, and I've had a huge paradigm shift and, and I don't need to own everything. I don't need to own my land. I don't have to have this, and, and it's just really got my brain going of, of opportunities to, to be successful. Yeah, for me, it's really that economic model uh, to be able to apply all of our numbers from our personal business to that, and a year ahead of time to be able to expect what we're going to get. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> you, you just told us what the cost was for the week, and to be honest with you, that was the one thing I thought about for the two or three weeks before we came. I knew that exact number of what it cost us to come here. And now it's Saturday. We've been here for a week. I've totally forgotten that. Yeah. You just mentioned that number, and it's, whoa, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, we saw in, like, the first day how, holy cow, this thing has paid for itself already. You know, it, it is hard to get away from a week, and it's hard to sit here for a week thinking about what's not getting done back there. And um, But the stuff that we've learned in this week is going to make us quit doing the $10 an hour jobs and quit just trimming twigs and stop having Whitby meetings all the time. And actually, you know, we're efficient with our time, but are we effective? And it's going to make up for the time lost here when we get back. Mm -hmm. And, and one, one thing that I would add is that in the beginning of the week, at, when you first come to the Ranching for Profit School, there's, it's, it's so much all of a sudden, all at once. And I think that a lot of us felt like, well, what about us? I mean, we're going to go home and change everything about us. And, and that's not true at all. Um, I've really seen it throughout the week that you take the things you learn here to go home and amplify the things that you love doing and who you are. It really makes more time for all of that. At least that's what I'm seeing it's going to do for us. So. Mm -hmm. You need to make a prophecy so and get away for a week. <laughs> do yes. it, yeah. <laughs> make it make it happen. Okay. I mean, there's there's really nothing else we can say other than, like she said, you got to make a profit, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I would, I would start by asking her is, if he comes by himself, is he going to be able to, come home and teach you what he learned in a way that's gonna, that, that you're going to be able to learn from him and not get frustrated or not fight and argue with the philosophies that had you come yourself and heard him from a third party and developed your own understanding, um, you're going to be able to communicate so much better as opposed to him coming home and being, oh, we got to do this and this and this. And, and it's, it's hard as a husband and wife team to allow each other to teach one another. Yeah, talking to the couple that that's thinking about not coming to the school together, um, talking to the husband of that couple, bring your wife. <laughs> it's way better for for each person in the couple to hear from the instructor rather than having the husband go home and try to teach the, the wife, in, in my opinion. We, we have a, a friend that has been through the school before, and she, on purpose, didn't tell us that we were going to be split up between, you know, put on different groups. And I called her, uh, we'd been here two or three days, and I called her, and she said, so how'd you like getting split up? You know, I didn't <laughs> tell you about that on purpose. And oh yeah, at, at the start, I didn't like it. It, it was, uh, I wanted my wife on my team so that we could have side conversations and we could talk about everything we're learning and apply it back to our business. But after a few days, it was really beneficial because we were each able to put 
each other out of our minds and the ranch out of our minds and just focus on what we were learning. And then in the evenings back in the hotel room, we could talk about everything and apply it back. So, well, and so. it also kind of, there was a few things that we realized that we didn't think the same about what our business is. And it's some issues that were, not issues, but it's just some things that we're going to have to get on the same page about. Well, this is a big issue. You're supposed to think the same as me. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's going to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, sorry.